We bring you breaking news here on the Ravens Rundown. Tyler Jones here as quarterback Lamar Jackson has left Sunday's game against the Denver Broncos with a knee injury and will not return. Breaking news coming in, and we're bringing this to you as the game is still in progress at this point. The time that we're taping this, the Ravens are trailing Denver 9-3, to entering the final quarter, and just horrible news for this Baltimore Ravens team to be without their star quarterback. And all of us certainly pause a moment anytime you're talking about a knee injury, and in particular with a Ravens star quarterback here. Now, the Ravens, as you all know, throughout the last two years have been hit so hard with the injury bug. Things have not been fair for the Ravens of what they have dealt with over the last two seasons. And Lamar Jackson missed some time last year. And then this week uh, was not the first of the injuries he suffered even this year. You go back to just even a few days ago, we were talking about a quad injury for Lamar, a hip injury back on week 12. Week 11, he was dealing with an illness. And in all three weeks, Lamar missed a number of practices due to the injuries that he was dealing with. And so not good news as the trend for Lamar Jackson was just getting worse. And so back to this breaking news that we're focusing on of this current situation with Lamar Jackson. And, you know, this is a circumstance, folks, it's it's so unfortunate, obviously, when you're talking about a quarterback and we're a franchise quarterback in the knee injury and so many questions that we just don't have answers to right now. Hopefully we get a report from John Harbaugh and the medical staff of where things are at with Lamar Jackson today. But at the moment, things do not look good for the Ravens star quarterback as far as what this goes and when we'll see him back on the football field again. And Remember, there's a lot of things to keep in mind with Lamar Jackson and this injury that we'll point to here. And that's you're looking at also a contract situation that's being involved, a team that's in the midst of the playoff fight trying to win the division that wants to make a deep run here. There's a whole lot of other factors that make everybody hesitant and pause for a second when you see this injury, then the recent injuries that have happened to Lamar. It's just simply not good. So what say you give me your one-word reaction to the Lamar injury news? My one word would be, it would start with an S and it would end with a T. I mean, let's put it that way. I mean, it's not great. I hope Lamar is okay, but very unfortunate to say the least. Give me your one word reaction in the comment section below. Ravens Rundown is brought to you by Fetch, the free app that allows you to scan your receipts and earn points that can be redeemed for gift cards to your favorite stores, restaurants, and other online retailers. It's super easy to use. You can use the app to snap a photo of your receipts from purchases from any store or click the e-receipt option, and Fetch can connect to your Amazon account and you'll earn points for all shipped orders. Plus, connect your email to earn points for every e-receipt you receive from Uber, Instacart, or any purchase you make online. Those points can then be redeemed for gift cards at your favorite stores and restaurants. Fetch is available on iPhone and Android. Use our link, chatsports.com slash fetch, and enter promo code chat to sign up for 5,000 points where you can scan your first receipt. That's the equivalent of a free $5 gift card to get started. It's a free app, and the 5,000 bonus points is only for a limited time. So get started now. Fetch. Go to chatsports.com slash fetch and enter the promo code chat. The link is also in the comment section and the description of today's video here on the Ravens Rundown. So let's continue now with Tyler Huntley filling in the void for Lamar Jackson. And at the time of this taping, Huntley has come in and played fairly well. 19 of 24, 137 yards. He did have an interception We've also seen him on the ground with five carries for 22 yards. And Lamar Jackson, before he got hurt, he was three of four for 11 yards passing. He had one carry for nine yards. And the coaching staff has been very high on Tyler Huntley. This was uh, somebody that they felt very confident in in the preseason. I think what you heard from the coaching staff there 
uh, with Baltimore and around the league was that Huntley was just as good as any backup in the National Football League, that Huntley is very capable of being a starter in this league, and the Ravens were so fortunate to have him as their second option. Now, what you hope for is that Lamar is okay and that he's not out a very long time, but if Lamar Jackson is not okay, I think that things feel good about what Tyler Huntley could do if he's going to be your starter for a game or two or three. I think the Ravens still have confidence of what he can potentially still get done, that the offense can still run at a high level with him in command. Now, granted, uh, at the time of this taping, they haven't been in the end zone yet since he has taken over, but Tyler Huntley has the track record in the past that's shown that he's more than capable of leading this offense. So very unfortunate news. You hope that Lamar Jackson's okay, but... If things have to go to Tyler Huntley for a while, then he should be fine uh, to take over the void and, and, and fill that for Lamar Jackson. Now, here's something to look at with this Lamar Jackson uh, situation here, the receiving game. Mark Andrews with three catches for 48 yards so far in this game, and we've seen in the past Tyler Huntley likes to connect with Mark Andrews, that they've had a good thing going. We saw in the preseason that... Tyler Huntley really connected with Isaiah Likely. So at its core, this Ravens offense is all about getting to the tight end, right? That they want to run the football. You want your quarterback to be mobile and get the ball to your tight ends, run you know, 12 personnel and do that type of thing. Whether it's Lamar Jackson or Tyler Huntley, the system does not change. That both quarterbacks are suited to play Confidence level in Tyler Huntley. Scale it for me, 1 through 10, in the comments section below. What do you think of Tyler Huntley as the Ravens' starting quarterback? Is he good enough to get the job done for this Ravens team? Scale for me, 1 through 10. I'm very curious how you feel about his chances of leading this Ravens offense. If he has to be the guy going forward, let me know in the comments section below. Scale 1 through 10. As always, subscribe to the channel daily. Baltimore Ravens news and rumors bringing you breaking news. Even when the game's still going on, we find a way to tell you exactly what's going on with your favorite team. Subscribe now, youtube.com slash Ravens TV for the latest happenings, and you will not want to miss a moment. Be here. We'll tell you exactly what's going on. We'll have more on this Lamar Jackson injury in the coming days ahead. Subscribe now. We'll see you next time here on the Ravens Rundown.